Hello, this is Mike, and welcome to PHP Programming Lesson 33. And what we're going to do today, basically, is start building our PHP Flash Builder calculator. And the first thing you want to do is actually get some reference material, something to look at uh, that's already been done that's good, that you're going to build your calculator or pattern it afterwards. And here's a Windows calculator. It's very nice, and uh, it has a little tab that you can pull around. And it just has the numbers set out, and we're going to set our numbers out the same way. And so you can see an example here where I've actually started doing that. And this is a simple calculator with just the... Uh, first simple class it worked with last time not the updated calculator class add it to it we're gonna let you do that but we're gonna show you how to build this so the first thing you want to do is create a project so let's right click on the screen go to new go to flex project and we'll just say uh, updated calculator make sure you choose the PHP option and uh, I'll bring this up so you can see it just hit the finish button so next is going to ask you to validate your server and yes we are pointing to the correct server and we've already gone through how to do that and we'll go to next and to finish we'll just hit finish and it builds all the code that you need to create that project so we have a blank project here let's go to source code and take a look at that and you can see there's just no source here at all and all that's going to pretty much be generated automatically for us by dragging over components a little bit of programming here but that's what's so powerful about flash builder is the ability to basically generate all this code automatically so uh, so let's come along here and now the next thing we want to do is go back to design view and we're just going to build our calculator set so we can come along here and hit windows and go to components and the first thing we'll do is just drag on a uh, panel and we'll just throw all our buttons in the panel now once you get the panel out there you can actually change the color of the panel and everything you want to do in the size so go to window and go to properties and that gives you all the properties of the panel or whatever item that you clicked on and we're just going to change this color white to another color so let's just change this to oh well, let's make it kind of blue bring this up so you can see it and once it's clicked on just hit OK let's try that again let's change that color to blue OK just hit OK and now you have a blue background to drag your buttons and you, you can actually change any of these colors but for now let's keep moving on so let's go back to windows and make sure our components panel is showing and then we can just start dragging buttons to the screen so just go to panel and start dragging buttons to the screen and you want to get your button right and once you've got that button right then you can start making copies of it and we'll just put one in there for example or zero that would be a great place to start and then you can just kind of hit our control C for copy and control V for paste and you just there's your button got another button and then you just start uh, changing the numbers right there one and uh, you just keep building your calculator now once again we're not really uh, we don't have our pattern out here once again you gotta remember that you're building it according to a certain pattern and your buttons are going to go in a certain place and that is from the windows calculator so let's bring the calculator up so you're gonna be patterning in after that so you're gonna see your zero is gonna go right there one's in the right place control C control V just drag that over and copy it and you see as you're doing that on the design side all that code so what you can see is on the source side, as you're generating the graphical buttons on one side, you're actually generating the code for those buttons on the other side. So you've already put three buttons here, zero and one, and that one was going to be two. Let's make sure it's got two in it. So just double click here and add two to it. And go ahead and build up the entire calculator so that it looks like um, this one right here. And uh, there are certain functions that we're not going to put in there, but specifically we're going to be concentrating on these four functions, plus, minus, times, and slash, because that's that basic uh, class that we've already written. So once you've built that, uh, come back and we'll start from there. So we're back and I finished building the guts of our calculator and it pretty much resembles uh, the Windows calculator pretty much. Let's bring that up. At least everything's in about the same place. It doesn't have all the functionality that it has, but it's got pretty much the same look and we're going to start programming some of that functionality in. So I did change some of the colors in the calculator and actually put in a label here and that all comes from that properties panel working with the uh, uh, panel, but what I want to do is just change this background color, and that can be done in the applications tag. You can see the background is highlighted, and so it highlight the applications tag. I've opened up a space here, and I'll just put it in for background color. So let's go B A C. There's background color right there. Hexadecimal course zero X, Roy G, and then Biv would be blue. The last two numbers. Let's make that um, A A. Kind of a light blue there, and let's go ahead and take a look at the design now. And see how it looks. Great. And um, I copied these buttons from another program that was already running. You can see there's a lot of errors already in the buttons. And the reason these errors are showing right here is because I left the function code 
in the button. So I actually copied this from a working example. You can see none of the functions are available yet, but we're going to go ahead and keep that in there and, and show you how that's actually coded. Basically, when you click on these particular buttons, you want to load these numbers into the text screen, and so you need these functions, but we haven't put them in there yet. And, and the reason we haven't put them in there yet is we want to get the data piece working. But all the buttons are there, and all the function holders are there, and once we start putting the functions in, these actually these errors will go away. Okay? So I programmed everything, and your calculation should look very similar. And all this pretty much is just drag and drop from the components panel. Okay? And then I'm ready to move on from here. Now, notice that the colors also are not black, as they were in the previous calculator, blue. And pretty much you just click on one of these buttons, go to the Windows Properties panel, and all the properties of that panel will come up. And right here, this was the color of the particular uh, letter in the button. So I could change that. I could make that another color if I wanted. I could make it gray. Hit that. Hit Control z and get rid of that and we're back where we were. So you can change the colors of what's inside these buttons and a lot of their properties and their sizes and shapes and where they appear. So we're ready now to go to the data side and this is pretty easy to do. We need to get our PHP classes into our bin debug folder. Now once again you're showing errors because I went ahead and left the function holder errors in there but when I put all the right functions in there those will go away. So let's go ahead and get the data working and then we'll be in good shape. So I've actually got this calculator already working up here. I've got at least the data piece and you'll see if I look in the uh, uh, debug folder right here, I have the basic calculator and the update calculator. I'm going to go ahead and just highlight those. I'm going to copy those and drop those same uh, files into uh, the uh, non-working program here below. So let's open up that bin debug and just copy and paste. Just control V. And now they're in there. Let me go ahead and open those up so you can actually see that those are indeed the right classes that we're going to be working with. So let's right click on uh, basic calculator and go open with text editor. And here's that basic PHP class that has addition, subtraction, division, and multiplication in there. And then I want to hit my update class. Go ahead and take a look at that. Click on that update class. We'll uh, right click and go open with text editor. And there's my update class that pretty much just has uh, my uh, square root method in there. And it has that require once, which brings in the... Uh, previous code and then I'm extending it with that code, the basic calculator. Very good, we're all ready to go. All we have to do now is hit the uh, data services or data wizard. So go to data, click on connect to data. And you want to choose PHP, go to next, and now let's browse to where that particular folder is. Now the name of this folder is update calculator, so we want to go to the update calculator debug folder. So we're going to look for update calculator, should be in the U, so go all the way down to the bottom. There's my update calculator debug folder, and I want to click on the update calculator, and this is really cool. I don't have to worry about this anymore because it's being what? Required once and brought in. Just need to click on this, and, and Flash Builder is going to generate all the service code I need to talk to this particular file. Let's click on that, and hit next. ta -da! And there's all my value objects. Ooh, this is a good feeling. Look at this. Square root, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And this came from my uh, updated but this came from my uh, base class. So pretty much this uh, updated calculator class has inherited all these methods and now I'm ready to rock and roll. So in the next video we're going to pick up with this, hook all this up so we can get our PHP calculator running on the web. So thanks for listening. Uh, let me review quickly what we did. We pretty much showed you how to open up the Windows component panel and start dragging components to the stage to pretty much duplicate or in a sense uh, create a likeness of the Windows uh, calculator. Uh, using that as a model. And then what we did, we went ahead and grabbed the uh, two important classes that we needed. The basic calculator class, which had plus, minus, division, and multiplication, and the updated calculator class, which had the square root in there. And we used inheritance, essentially, to uh, uh, give us all the functionality that we needed uh, with that particular class. And then what we did, we used the data wizard to create all the service code that we needed to work with that particular PHP class. So next time, we're going to hook that up. And just, you know, in two lessons, you got a PHP calculator running on the web. And not only that, because we're in Flash Builder, it's 3D. And we'll demonstrate that next time. Hey, thanks for listening. This was Mike Lively.